all right guys this is my first official video for my youtube video and in this lesson as many people have requested i'm going to do systems of equations so i'm going to teach you guys four methods of doing this so hope you guys learned something so the first method that we have is called substitution so this is basically when you put one variable x or y in terms of the other variable in this case we have x in terms of y plus two so we can substitute this value in for this all right so what is two times y plus two right because x is equal to y plus two and then so we have two times y plus two plus three y is equal to 37 we can distribute two y plus four is equal to three y which is equal to 37 so five y plus four is equal to 37 we can subtract four on both sides giving us 5y is equal to 33 divide both sides by 5 giving us y is equal to 8 i mean is equal to 6 and 3 fifths and now we could plug in oh that 6 looks kind of weird but we could plug in the value of 6 plus 3 fifths into here giving us x is equal to 6 and 3 fifths plus 2 meaning that x is equal to 8 and 3 fifths so these are our two answers, and that's how you do the first method. So the second method is addition slash subtraction. So let's look at our equations. Well, in this case, right, you're trying to look for the same constant. So you see three and three. I mean, in front of this, it's a negative one and four. So these two are not the same, but in this case, you see a three and a three. So that's perfect. So what you're going to do is you're going to see if it's, if either you're going to subtract or add. So you see plus and minus. If you add, right, plus and minus will cancel each other out. Where if you subtract, they'll equal a positive or negative number. So let's add these two equations, right? What's negative 1 plus 4? That's equal to 3. So that's 3x. And over here we have, what's 3 plus negative 3? That's essentially 3 minus 3. So that's 0. So these two cancel out is equal to... 14 plus 23, that's 37. So we could divide both sides by 3, giving us x is equal to 37 over 3. All right, and then now we could just plug it back in and solve for y. So let's use this equation right here. So negative 37 over 3 plus 3y is equal to 14. And now we can add 37 over 3 on both sides. giving us 3y is equal to 14 is equal to 42 over 3, meaning 3y is equal to 79 over 3. Divide both sides by 3, which is times 1 third, giving us y is equal to 79 over 9. So these are our two answers. And that's how you're going to do the, the addition slash subtraction method. And the next method we have is going to be making x, y equal. So what does this mean? So basically, what this means is because you can't do any of the previous methods on this question, what you're going to do is you're going to have to make both of the variables equal. So what's the least common multiple of? So what's the LCM of 2 and 3? It's going to be 6, right? So you're going to make these 6x. So that gives you 6x and 6x. So how, how did you get 6x from 3x? You multiplied both sides by 2, right? So you have to multiply the rest by 2. So what's negative 7y times 2? That's negative 14y. And what's 10 times 2? That's 20. So now how did you get 6x from 2x? You multiplied by 3. So that's plus 6 times 3, 18y. Negative 16 times 3, that's negative 48. And now look, you have equal, right? And as we just learned from the addition and subtraction method, you can now subtract. Giving you, let's subtract, right? 6x minus 6x is 0. Negative 14y minus 18y is thir negative 32y. And 20 minus 48 is equal to 68. We could divide both sides by negative 2. I mean, negative 32, giving us y is equal to negative 68 over 32 which is equivalent to negative 34 over 
16, which is also equivalent to negative 6, 17 over 8. So that's one. All right, so now we have y. So let's solve for x. So x is equal to this. We could plug in y. So 3x minus 7 times negative 17 over 8 is equal to 10. 3x minus what's 7 times 17? That is equal to 119. Well, because negative times negative is positive, therefore we have a positive over 8 is equal to 10. And we can subtract 119 from both sides, 119 over 8 from both sides. 3x is equal to, what's that equal to? That's 80 over 8. Um, we subtract, that's equal to negative 39 over 8. Now we could divide both sides by 3. Multiply by one third, so that gives us x is equal to 39 over 24. Divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 13 over 8. So those are our two solutions. This is kind of easy, but if you guys see, they're not integers. Most of the answers are not integers, so that's going to be a little difficult sometimes. And the fourth method only works for multiple choice questions. So it's called plugging in. So if you have four answers on the SAT multiple choice section, you're just gonna, and you don't, you're too lazy to do any of the three other methods. You could just plug in your number. So how does this work? We have these equations right here. And you're gonna try to plug in the values for X for X and the values for Y for Y and see which ones work. In this case, all of them added to seven, right? Two plus five is equal to seven, negative three plus 10 is equal to seven. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, and negative 6 plus 13 is equal to 7. And next, you're going to try the second equation. And which ones worked for the second equation? Only the second one. And because only the second one worked for both equations, when you plugged it in for the values of x and y, that means that our answer is going to be b. So this method only works for multiple choice questions. Otherwise, you're going to have to stick with these three methods. So that's my first video. Thanks for watching, guys.